Our next guest needs no introduction, but I'm going to introduce him anyway. Earlier, we sat down for an intimate interview with Mark Wahlberg. He talked to us all about his newest passion project, Father Stew, and how he gained over 30 pounds for the role. Want to know if he'll ever do it again? Take a look. I thought it makes sense being back here to do this. Your son is about to make a huge mistake. Well, I'm going to be a priest. For Halloween. Mark, what a story, a true story. I feel like now more than ever, everybody needs to hear this. What drew you to the story and why did you personally want to be a part of it? You know, I had heard the story on a number of occasions and one time when uh, my parish priest was pitching me this movie, it just registered. And then I realized, oh my God, I couldn't find a single reason not to want to be a part of it. My own selfish reasons as an actor, my looking for and desiring to find new ways to give back uh, and share all the wonderful things that my faith has done for me and encourage people to pursue their own, uh, wanting just to do more God's work, knowing that all of the success that I've had and all both personally and professionally, was not to just kind of go off and live uh, happily ever after. It was to kind of go back and to do more and to be challenged. And it's so much more meaningful and so much more fulfilling. And the movie, the response has been overwhelming. I mean, everybody is touched by it in their own personal way. I know we're dealing with COVID and, and we're in uncharted uh, waters and we're all in it together. And the difficult things are much easier to deal with, with, you know, God in your life for sure. Amen. Man, I just you and Jeff are over here are like <laughs> two peas in a pod. It's oh not like gosh. we have the same birthday mark or anything. <laughs> do you do? Yeah, we do. Oh. June 5th, buddy. I'm oh, Rocket really? Star. That makes so I'm, much sense. Yeah. Mark oh. did not know that. He did not know <laughs> that. And am, I, am I also hearing a bit of a Boston accent there? Chicago. Chicago. <laughs> I love Chicago, too. We have a lot in common there. Well, we, we're going to have some more in common. I was raised Catholic, Mark. I'm a faith-based family man, as I know you are. But there's some shame. We do this show every day. There's some shame surrounding the Catholic community. Are you trying to shine a positive light on Catholic Catholics or Catholicism through this film? I ain't giving up on you. Don't you dare go giving up on yourself. Hear the trumpets, hear the pipers. Whatever was going on with the church needed to be addressed. Right. It needed to be addressed a long time ago. But the big reminder here is this is not so much about the church. It's about the guy who died to build it. Everybody else is human. We're all weak. We all make mistakes. I think the archdiocese and other people were surprised. Anytime you're making a movie about the church, they just assume that it's some sort of negative sort of thing. And so when they read the script initially, there was some harsh language in the first couple pages. So they did not support the film. Now, I Having seen the film, they are supporting it and giving us the most glowing reviews. But, you know, look, we are all about change. We're all about inclusion, bringing everybody together. And most importantly, we are not the judge. So we need to give people the benefit of the doubt. We need to love people, accept people, and empower people to be the best versions of themselves. Well, Mark, we've seen your posts on Instagram, and I'm sure you're getting a lot of questions about how you had to gain weight for Father Stu and then lose it. Is this something that you think you'll ever do again for a movie. It takes and discipline. Yeah, how much stress is it on your body? That is a very good question. You're not supposed to do it at my age, I will admit. I'm I'm 50 years old. I'm definitely into the third quarter, maybe <laughs> even looking at the fourth. No. Golly God knows. But that being said, I, it takes a lot of discipline. And it wasn't like I just did it as an actor to say, well, if somebody gained 25 pounds in two months, I gained 30 in a month and a half. It was really just about Stu's journey. And when he got sick and his physicality started to deteriorate, his spirituality soared. And it was a part of the arc of the character and the journey um, to showcase that what IBM can do to people and but how he handled it with such grace and dignity at the same time so I would not want to do it again to answer your question it was very difficult I'd lose weight is a lot easier only because you know that's just a mental challenge you just say no you just be disciplined but to eat when you're already stuffed and have to <sighs> more and just continue to stuff it in that that's a physical challenge that is only for the cody chestnuts of the world that's not <laughs> is not for me well mark no. congratulations yes. i would say to our viewers this is a must see movie thank you so much mark dbl nation do not miss the premiere of father stew exclusively in movie theaters on april 13th we'll be right back thank you so much thank Thanks, you guys god bless you i appreciate it you Bye, too guys.